Good evening, welcome. Ese momento cuando vas a empezar la clase y te agarra calambre en la espalda. Good evening. Good evening, it is what it is. What it is. Spasmos. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys? Um, so so. Come on, don't say so so. <laughs> yeah, because I am a little bit sick. Oh yeah, what happened to you? You were not in class these days. Mm, yeah. Because I am uh, under COVID 19 suspect. Under pressure, really? Yeah. Have you been going to the site? Um, no, actually. So how can you be infected? Yeah. That's really odd. And I'm glad you had your back. How do you feel? Well, a little bit painful. I'm in pain. I'm, I'm a little bit in pain. I'm a little pain. bit in okay. pain. I'm a little bit in pain. I'm a little bit in pain. I'm a little bit in pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, take your medication. Hope you're doing that. It's very important. Um, las medicinas que empezaron a dar como para que eran de veterinaria. No sé cómo se llamaba esa cosa. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Estaban dando una medicina cuando empezó lo del COVID que era de uso veterinario. De hecho, Ada, no sé cómo se llamaba. Uh -huh. es, Ivermectina. Es, Ivermectina, thank you. A, a mi esposa le dio y fuerte y aquí estuvo encerrada en el cuarto dos semanas. Yo le estuve cuidando. Y, pero eso sí, le dieron la ivermectina a ella y otros medicamentos, inyecciones para no coagular la sangre porque en las piernas le afectó la coagulación. Pero lo que te quiero decir es que todos en la familia tomamos ivermectina. O sea, no fue solo eso, sino que todos. Aunque no son muy esa sospecha de, ni nada, pero en ese momento no habían pruebas PCR en El Salvador. So, supusimos que eso era, si le agarró bien feo, no perdió el olor, el olfato, perdón, el gusto. So, ya, ¿A ti no te ha dado eso, Alexander? Eh, sí, un poco. Oh, ok. Bueno, hay que cuidarse. Primero Dios esté bien pronto, ok? Hopefully. Sí. Let us know anything, any update. Ok. Guys, let's do the attendance first. Please turn on your camera. Welcome back, Fatima, too. My God, yeah. Hello. How are you doing? ¿Cómo, cómo va? Usted también estaba con problemas con la vacuna, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ya, okay. ya mejor. Bueno, gracias a Dios que están de regreso, chicos. Creo que todos vamos a pasar por eso tan temprano, supongo yo. Primero Dios que no vea con todos. Ok, let's do it. Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nos quedamos ahora 10 minutitos, please. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides de Guizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Okay. Isela Liliana Mi Miranda Espinosa. Present. Sivia sí, Fernando por ahí. Did you hear me? No, I didn't hear you. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Okay. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. René Alfonso, not yet. Trina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Miriam Carolina, creo que no me escuchó, pero ya la vi. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. 
William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Hi, present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Yeah. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. No. Okay, guys, let's start. So yesterday we talked about training necessities, how to identify training needs, um, areas of improvement in your coworkers, in your um, employees, if you're managing a specific area or department, you need to identify training opportunities. So um, we said that there are different training, um, training topics that you can cover, right? From having someone needing to learn how to use a computer, how to use uh, any, any equipment in, in the office to attitude, attitude issues, more psychological stuff, right? But also um, there are processes. And that's it. this is very common in call centers, let me tell you, processes. When there's a new process, you need to train everybody. And now there are different approaches. Do you understand the word approach? Approach. Like a take advantage. Like? Like a take advantage. Take advantage. No, it approach. Or approach. Ah, it's like, get, ah, get yeah. close so, to someone. Or, ah. or, or come up. <laughs> Be careful because in the context of physical contact, yes, you can approach a person. Mm -hmm. But in this context, when you talk about delivering a training, delivering a class, the meaning of the word approach is very extensive. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with the techniques, with the um, methodology, the methodology that they're going to apply to deliver the message and get an outcome. Listen, okay, methodology, approach, outcome. What is an outcome? Result. Result, Out outcome, result, okay? Synonyms, outcome, result. So um, how do you, what approach do you use? When you deliver a process, you can just do this, what I'm doing right now, okay? You are the center of attention in the class, in the training, and you keep talking and talking and talking, people is gonna die there, you know, they're gonna fall asleep. So find a way to deliver the training in such a way that everybody participates, okay? Whatever you're training your employees on, try to become just um, a master, you know, delivering a class, Okay, Fernando, tell me, what do you understand by this? Jose Antonio, what do you understand? Okay, William, read this part. Okay, Juan, Juan Guzman, apply this. Apply this process and so on and make everybody participate. So let's do that in the class right now. Yesterday, you were supposed to deliver a training. Some of you were talking, Alan, I think, Alan's team, Alan's team were talking about um, how to train drivers right in which areas analyzing the position and what training opportunities there were so if you want the stage is yours you can let us know what ideas you got from that conversation with your classmates what trainings um, are you going to implement who, who was in your team alan um, um, I don't remember, but I just, uh, let me see. Me, I think. Uh, I don't remember. Isela, uh, Isela was in your team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think. That yes. Also... Yeah, she was. Okay, so um, let, let us know. What, what what did you think about? 
We um. Um, I'm remember that we. Yeah. Go ahead, Isabel. Go ahead. Okay, we were talk. We were talking about the. To get. No, to training for. Trucker, drivers. Truck drivers. Uh huh. Truck drivers. Yeah. So, um, we were talking about to implement some training as security road. Um, let me check. I don't remember the. Um, uh, before the that, we. That, uh, before that, we, yeah. we talk about some requirements. Do you remember the, the most. Uh, have experience like two years of experience and driving trucks. Um, yes. yes. Uh, and identify some skills that they must have to uh, to get the training or something like that. I, I, I don't remember. I don't have the 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 quote. Identified. Um, yeah, identified incidents and also training for for um I don't, I don't know your mechanic oh mechanical Mechanics. mechanical skills let's say mechanical mm -hmm. skills and i don't remember the word that you shared with us about first aid first aid yeah first, first aid. aid yeah sorry mm -hmm. yeah I think that was what's all. <laughs> that was all. Everything. Okay. okay. Now, how would you train? We we just, I remember I visited your group, and we talked about the background of the employees, the educational background. Remember, um, and I hope you understand. If anybody, if you don't understand this concept, let us know. I think the educational background of employees affects directly if an employee will succeed, you know, on the training, if they will understand, if they will apply the knowledge that they will gain on the training, will they apply it in reality? So the, what do you think? I'm, I'm throwing a question. I'm throwing a question. What do you think? Do you think the educational background has to do but you, you're you're talking about the behaviors, right? Yes, in a training in general, when you deliver a training, um, some people don't even pay attention. They don't care about the training. They just want to, because they think and this is the problem with adults. We think we know everything, right? So we go like, uh, I know that. I mean, how to repair a tire? I mean, come on. Right. I'm not sure if, if it's right the concept, but the exist uh, uh, confidence no, the, or the confidence. Where, yeah, when when you are so they, you say yourself are overqualified, but <laughs> in the reality it's not. Uh, it's just in your imagination. Yes, you keep thinking in your life that you're overqualified for some things that you know everything and in reality when you face that problem uh oh okay uh what, what do i do now right you get in trouble so yeah i got your point so what do you think educational background has to do with it in other words is it the same to train the security guard to train someone from the office the accounting personnel Mm. It's not the same. Why? No, no, it's different. It's different. <laughs> okay, someone else, Fernando. Um, what do you think, Alexander Ada? Elvin, so quiet today. Juan, Johnny, Sandra. Educational background is about. What is it like CV or is it like 
resume. Mm -hmm. Or about in general, yeah. general culture. Your attitude, culture. in my in my perspective, as a teacher, from my perspective, educational background has a lot to do with your attitude. A lot to do with your attitude. And understand for education, from the education you were given as a child in your house to the formal education okay. you were given in school. To be referred to the habit. Okay. Habits, yeah. It's like, in, in this case, um, is the, you actually are seeing about uh, willingness, uh, the person who is going to get a, a train about it and the attitude if this person is actually uh, up to, to do it. Right, if the person is up to do things, you know, they're willing to do it, mm -hmm. to change, to be open-minded, right? If they're open-minded, then they will adapt, they will adapt to the new way of doing things that you are um, teaching them, that you're letting them know. Okay, that was just a thought, guys, but I want you to speak. That's the whole point of the class, remember? So let's keep going. Tonight, we're going to move on to page 34 in your um, workbook. And first of all, we're going to learn some vocabulary. We're going to build some vocabulary. So let's have Fernando read the instructions of this little chart here. There you go. Uh, match these terms related to training and personal development to their meanings. Check answers with a classmate. 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 <laughs> okay. With a classmate. Good. Repeat answers. Check answers Ans with your with a classmate. Check answers with a classmate. Check answers with a classmate. I'm just going to read it for you before I split you in groups so you can do this. Okay. We have goal, goal, goal. goal. Feedback. feedback, 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 budget, budget, knowledge gap, knowledge gap, coaching. Be careful. Don't say coaching. Okay. Coaching. Coaching, qualifications, qualifications, qualifications. Number one, a quality that makes someone suitable, <gasps> suitable, mm -mm, suitable, suitable, suitable for a particular job, for a particular job. An estimation of income and expenses, an estimation of income and expenses, helpful information or criticism, what? Criticism, <laughs> helpful information or criticism about the performance, performance of a person. Okay about the performance of a person. The process of improving the performance of an employee. Keep an eye on that. An employee. A desired, desired result or possible outcome. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Listen to that. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Okay, now that you know the pronunciation, let's split the class and learn. Okay, I wanted to join this thing, but it's not, there you go. Okay, now let's practice together. Make sure you speak and give your opinion. Hey, you know what? I think goal is the process of improving the performance. I don't know. Okay, so let's get together and 
join, match the items with the definition on the right, okay? Simple. And please turn on your cameras, guys. Okay. We, we, we are not in pro of social distancing here. We need the opposite to social distancing here in virtual classes, so let's do it. Let's go. Hello, people. Hello. Hey, everyone. Hi. 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 Are you ready okay. for answer? Okay. Uh, feedback. I have the answers. Fine. Three years. <laughs> I think we have we we should go in order of the words like the here's goal. What is the meaning of of what a goal? Ah, a desired result or possible outcome. I think that is the meaning of goal. Yes. Okay. Three, three, uh, one. Feedback. Feedback is ah, helpful information or criticism. 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 How do you say, teacher? Please help help us. Criticism. 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 Helpful information or criticism about the, per the performance of a person. Okay. Budget. Two. Budget. Um, Budget. Estimation. Estimation. Okay. Estimation. Yeah. Estimation of income, income and expenses. Yeah. Three. Okay, no. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. A quality that makes someone sweet, mm -hmm. sweet, 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 oh, sweet table, sweet table, sweet table. <laughs> okay, so let me stop you. Let me stop you. Uh, I want you to listen to this um, really quick. Hold on. <laughs> where is it? Oh my God, where are sweet you here? Table. Where is okay? Let me stop your sharing and you share my okay. Baby here, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. qualification. Listen, listen. Uh, mute some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done. It is time. Uh, mute some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done. Uh, mute some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done. Criticism. Criticism. Who is it? Who is it? Do you know who is it? Criticism. Who's talking? Uh, uh, Morgan Freeman. Some of our criticism <laughs> in order to get some stuff done. <laughs> no, that's Obama. To... Obama. Ah. Yeah, that's Obama. Very good. Okay. Good listening <laughs> skills. Okay. Continue, guys. Very good. Uncle. My uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, you wish. Okay, keep going. Ah, I I lost my annotation. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, do it again. No problem. I guess. Uh... It's a comment that is going to. It's like a. It's like an advice, a comment that will will help you improve uh your area areas of opportunity or your opportunity areas. So I think that could be um, could be a balance of this. what a person should know. Knowledge gap. I don't know if you are agreed to with that. Feedback, helpful information, help, help, full information or 
Creating some creating some creating some no creating some <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> listen, listen, pay close attention. Some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done, are there times where we have an opportunity? Uh, some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done, we have to uh, mute some of our criticism in order to get some Who is it? Criticism. You don't know who's talking? No. no, that was Obama, <laughs> uh, ex-former president of uh, Obama. Yeah, criticism, criticism. <laughs> you got it, very good. Okay, keep going, keep going, good job. Who is um, Hi, chicas, ¿Qué está haciendo? Hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. Uh, Okay, um, page, book. Um, get over. Mm. Okay, it's helpful, helpful information or please about the performance of person is versus caution. Mm -hmm. For meta. Okay. Where's the English? <laughs> Come on. I teach you. Now, now, now. But now, come on, you have to speak in English, guys. That's the whole point. Okay. Uh, what is page? Hmm? Suitable. What is page? Suitable. Page 34. What's the page? What's, uh, what's the, page? the page? What's the page? What's the page? Uh, 34. 34. Okay. 34. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Criticism. Hey, good criticism. criticism. Scepticism. Criticism. Positivism. I come on. <laughs> Positivism. How do you pronounce the word? We are helping with criticism. 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 Okay, uh, let me, well, I will erase what you have if I share my audio. I'll do it in the class. Okay, so yeah, criticism. Number one, let's see, goal. A desired result of or positive outcome. Yeah. Number two, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Feedback. Yeah, because it's helpful. Three, um, an estimation of income and expenses. Yeah. Knowledge gap. Hmm. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Irregular balance. Yeah. Number five, coaching. The process of improving the performance of an employee. Coaching. Mm. Qualification. Six, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you. Okie dokie. Okay. okay. So criticism. Any other difficult word? Qualifications. 
Qualifications. Qualifications. Qualifications. Qualifications. Yeah. Qualifications. We will do that exercise when we come back. Okay. Allow me just a minute. I'm just going to visit the last group and we go back. Okay. All right. Practice. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. when when number, read... number three. Performance of a no. I don't know. Number four. Performance of an um, an employee is difficult. An employee for me. An employee. Or an employee. An employee. An yeah. employee. An employee. The process employee. of improving the performance of an employee. Yeah. Of an employee. Okay. The 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 crisis cri criticism is correct. Criticism. Criticism. <laughs> Criticism. Criticism. Optimism. Criticism. Optimism. Accepticism. Uh, <laughs> Accepticism. Fanatism. <laughs> Pacifism. <laughs> Classicism. Classicism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Criticism. Criticism. Okay. There are many words ending on ISM. ISM. Okay, so you have the, the answers? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Sorry, Tin, I was reading on mute. Mm. The night turned cold, the stars looked down, and you hugged yourself on the cold, cold ground. You wake the morning in a stranger's coat. No one would you see. Nobody? Ask yourself. Nobody knows. Could it be my only friend? Who could it be? No, Sting. Come on, guys. Sting. The police? But the singer, Sting. No. Look for it. I love that song. The police? He no. was. Every breath, you, every breath you take. I don't know. I don't remember. Every, every breath you take. Yeah. That's the most common. Mm. Yeah. Let me, let me invite you to listen to this song. Just Google it and. and Go, but go to the both versions. Look for different versions of the song. He was honored recently, um, a few a few years ago. He was honored in a ceremony, and this black guy uh, sang sang the song. He sang the song, and it was amazing. I mean, wow! The arrangement. He had a great voice. Harry Potter. No, his name is Potter as well, but I can't remember his first name. Is not Harry. Okay, I can't remember. Okay, so let's see. What are your answers? Wake up. Let's do it. Okay, what's the goal? A desired result or possible outcome. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, goal. A desired result or possible outcome. 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 There you go. Okay, what's feedback? Someone else, what is feedback? Helpful information or criticism. Thank you, Ada. Ada. Uh -huh. <laughs> Helpful information. For the criticism, criticism, uh, criticize about the performance of person. Of a person. We will see that. Criticism. 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 Mm -hmm. Criticism. Very good. What is budget? Someone else. An estimation of income. Of income. income. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. An estimation of income and expenses. Okay. Good. And expenses. Okay. What's number four? Someone else. A quality that makes some suitable for a particular job. Someone suitable, suitable 
Okay. Suitable. Suitable. There you go. Suitable for a particular, particular job. Particular. Where's the stress? T, right? Particular job. Okay. What's number five? Coaching. Someone else. Carolina. The process of improving <laughs> the performance of an employees. Repeat. Performance. Performance. Of an employee. Of, a, of, an, of, an, of an employee. Of an employee. Good. And what's number six? Fatima, Carlivania. What's going on? Wait. I'm irregular. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Coaching, the process of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But six? Yes. yes. Qualifications. An yes. irregular balance of what a person should know. Mm. This is a knowledge yes. cup. This That's is a knowledge a cap. is a quality that makes someone. Yeah. Yes. Qualification is a quality that makes someone. <laughs> okay. How do you say es al revés in English? Mm -hmm. How do you say es al revés in English? Uh -huh. oh, you have to switch. <laughs> you have to know. switch? Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah to the bad. <laughs> it's contrary. <laughs> it's contrary. Is the contrary? Mm, huh? Someone else? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Backward. Is? It's backward. It is backwards. Yes, it's backwards. How else can you say that? Y A R G. No, no, no. But how... what? Backwards. Uh, no. Okay. Is... Yeah, but how else can you say it's backwards? It's back. Backward. Backward. Backwards. It's backwards. Okay, but how else can you say it's, it's al revés? Okay. Another way around. <laughs> it's the, the other, other it's way the, around. <laughs> you got it. It's the other way around. Hey, the other way around. Al revés. Okay, it's the other way around. The, 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 al revés. Okay, it's backwards. It's the other way around. Okay. The opposite. In the opposite direction. Is it in the opposite direction? When you talk about directions. Inside, okay. out. Inside out is al revés. Yes, but when you're dressing something, let's say. Inside eso out. Es, ajá, yeah. Inside out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Vocabulary. Hey, let's do something here. So. Let me see. Da, 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 da. I just want to remove this thing and I can't remember how to do it. I forgot. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I just want to stop it. Oh, I remember. Okay, so difficult words. Quality? Nah. Suitable. Okay, we'll look for suitable. Particular. Okay, we'll look for a particular estimation of that. If I do that, it's not going to suit. Okay, let's go with suitable first. I'm going to have to stop sharing and share just the audio because I want you to practice these at home as well. When you get a new word, just go to Juglish. Do you remember Juglish? Okay. Yeah. Let's go with the first word, suitable. Suitable. Let me see if I'm right. Pay attention. Considering this, Node.js may become suitable for processing CP. Okay, suitable. Let's listen to time and choose a suitable oh. landing spot. All suitable landing spot. What's necessary to make an environment suitable to host life? Suitable. Whether life. One more. An ion based atomic clock that is space suitable. Space suitable. Okay, that was the first word. Let's go with particular. Particular. Hmm. And the, the power of the individual to become something particular. Particular. So that's where that particular bolt of lightning goes. So particular. 
the strengths and weaknesses of their particular approach. Particular approach. And we're not trying to solve any particular disease. This is particular just disease. That's an easy, an easy word. Okay, let's go with your favorite criticism. <laughs> criticism. Criticism. We had Obama first. Listen. Our criticism in order to get some stuff done, are there to uh, mute some of our criticism in order to get some stuff done? Criticism. Criticism at the G20. Here Again, Obama. And at the UN General Assembly. Okay, now, hold on. Away from that criticism. Okay. Fry and Uptalk come in for a lot of criticism. Criticism. Okay. Always do that. Look for the pronunciation in English. I will recommend you strongly to look for the right pronunciation. Uh, suitable, we saw it. I think that's it, right? Okay, let's move on. And con continuing talking, we have a challenge for you. You must speak and give the definition of each of these words to your classmates. What? Yes. Analyze the job. What do you understand by analyze the job? Uh, I think it's when you have to. Uh -huh. Analyze the job. <laughs> <laughs> Look for another word. Define, <laughs> define what the job is about. Mm, what processes someone have to do in that position. Okay. And so on. Okay. Identify personals personals, current skills and knowledge. Hmm, what someone can do, right? What do they know about anything, you know? Okay. Define these words to your classmates. Okay. But do it, please. One by one. What are these concepts? What do you understand by each concept? Okay. And by the way, um, okay. Just so you know, there are other words that end with season, okay? Season, fanatism, accepticism, classicism, um, organism, opposism, yeah, pacifism. <laughs> There's a lot of them. So keep practicing every word ending on season, season, season. Okay, romanticism, and so on. Okay, let's go. Let's define these words. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Miguel. Hi, Alan. Hi, Johnny. Hi, hi. Alexander. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Ethan. We have to identify training opportunities for the personal level for description of the process with the right hidden. But right now we're just we're just um, defining these concepts, analyze the job in your own words. Oh yeah, Thank in you. my own words, analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay. Consider all the action you have to do for this year. Ah, perfect. Company. <laughs> Oh, area and specific area. Area, area, area. Area, area of the company. Well, other other concept analyze analyze the job. I don't know when I when I careful review my work, for example, uh, before send a report to my boss. Um, I, I most careful analyze what I am delivering. I don't know. I must carefully, 
Very good. Carefully. I must carefully analyze what I'm delivering. Uh huh. Yeah. Good job. I know. I, I think this. Yeah. Mm, yeah. For me, in this case, analyze the job. It means that the way that you do your your job, uh, identify processes, and identify what kind what kind of things you need to be better and yeah improve uh, some opportunity areas some areas of improvement the... areas of opportunity yes and means that you need to uh, get knowledge about it in order to teach them to teach to others. Could be, yeah. To, to, to teach to others, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is the pronunciation? Remember, we, we are okay. just, we're just defining the concepts that you have on your WhatsApp Zoom chat. Uh, you're uh, not, yeah, you're not filling the gaps or using I what is already uh -huh. on the book. Defining your own words. What is uh, analyze the job? What is analyze the job, for example? Um, it's like observe, observe the situation, the advent, uh, like inter or external. Internal or external? Okay. Inter external. Um, the um, oh I forget this word. Um, about um, witness um, witnesses are uh, about uh, economical, technological, eco uh, political. Uh, analyze this. Analyze uh, these factors. These factors. Let's analyze the job. Uh, it's simpler, actually. It's analyzing the processes mm -hmm. that you have to do in that position, right? In that job. Okay. Um, depend the position. Yeah. yeah, it all depends on the position. What skills you need for that position. How good, mm -hmm. how much are you paying for that position? Mm -hmm. But essentially, oh, what, okay. what do you have to do? Sometimes so, it's important to identify the budgets or the, the money. For each position, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's the idea. Okay, second concept. Identify personal uh -huh. current skills and knowledge. Hmm. Your own words, remember. Um, I see as I it identify personal school and skills and knowledge. Mm -hmm. to find the um, best we are to uh, no estamos llenando los espacios en blanco con esos conceptos. Solamente estamos definiendo en nuestras propias palabras. It can say cada cosa. Analyze the job. What is it? What is it? Identify. Uh, yeah. In your own words. That's all we're doing. Okay. So you can ask a classmate. Hey, what do you think is to identify training solutions? What is that? Right? In your own words, in tus propias palabras. That's the point right now. Okay? So try it. Try it. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, first, we, we have to. No, to match no, and then no. We I ask you to define in your <laughs> own words. You're doing the next activity. Okay. No, that's what <laughs> I told you. Just no, defining but... your own words. Okay. Talk about talk about it for a few minutes. You know, what is to analyze the job? I mean, what is it? Okay. 
right? Yes, just we took a little bit advantage of the of that information. Now that we already know a little bit about the, the meaning, we are going to try to give you our personal opinions about it. That's the, the concept, point right now, this oh, cause among sorry. yourselves. This is a good group. All of okay. you speak a lot. Everybody speaks a lot in this group, so do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sorry, guys. It's okay. What is what is the number one? List at opportunity. Okay, no estamos eh, rellenando los espacios en blanco en la página en el ejercicio 6. Solo estamos definiendo nuestras propias palabras que entendemos por uh -huh. cada concepto. Ese era el ejercicio. Analyze oh. the job. Okay, identify person. Okay. okay. So do it in English, of course. Okay. The least opportunity, I guess, in where trying is necessary to decide if it's a part between knowledge and skills of the staff. What areas they need help? No, um, it's uh, identifying the processes. Job. What is your opinion? Your opinion. Okay. Uh, analyze the job. I think uh, is when uh, in where you you how clear what is that the description uh, uh, for Joe and you. Uh, you compare if the employees complete all the all the skill uh, or all the knowledge, and then you identify uh, you can identify, identify uh, what is opportunity, and then um, let me see, and then uh, you decide what is the major or the best training for uh, for um, uh, for let me see for uh, clear the opportunity I don't know this is my opinion okay, very good. Um, my opinion and depend depend the, the position no yeah opportunity para um, para todos <laughs> no for everyone for everyone mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we jumped um, the instructions, right? Um, the instructions were to define in your own words, give your personal opinion about each statement. You know, what is to analyze the job? I don't know, it's like define the procedures that someone does. I gave you examples, that was all you're doing. You were doing just discussing with your classmates what was each concept each statement hey what is to evaluate uh, performance after training oh that's when you take a training and they you run a quiz you know a survey of um, the contents on the training to see if you understood that's uh, to evaluate the performance after the training oh, okay you see okay let's do the attendance and then we move on. We go with the second part. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, present teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miriam, Miriam, no Miriam, okay. One second. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Where, where are you? Oh, oh, there you are. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina Mabel. Thought I saw her. No. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Present. Thank you. Enséñame las cámaras, porfa. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Ya voy. I'm here. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Bien, eh, una pausa pequeña, recordarles que deben de terminar la plataforma, los ejercicios de la plataforma hasta el examen final, la más tardar el viernes, para que podamos eh, cerrar el módulo en cuanto a la plataforma, ¿ok? Y recordarles, si aún no han entregado sus documentos para iniciar el siguiente módulo, que les tengo noticias, eh, bueno, ya les van a comunicar, pero vamos a empezar súper rápido el siguiente módulo. Ok, so, buxos. Ok, no vamos a esperar nada prácticamente, so, 
Puso ahí, por favor, con sus papeles. So let's keep going. Ok, eh, de nuevo, repetía, la instrucción anterior era hablar con tus propias palabras. ¿Qué es esto de analizar el trabajo? Eh, analizar la posición, identificar las um, los, um, habilidades y el conocimiento del personal, identificar las soluciones de entrenamiento, evaluar. evaluar um, ¿Cómo traducís performance en español? Perdón. Rendimiento. Desempeño, rendimiento, ajá. Desempeño. Desempeño, más desempeño, ok. Evaluar el desempeño después del entrenamiento y decidir, um, decidir las habilidades y los, y la, perdón, des, decidir, me he puesto a definir ahí mejor, decidir las, um, how, ¿cómo se traduce gaps en español? Brecha. Brechas. Brechas. Los, los espacios en blanco, ¿no? las oportunidades, de, las habilidades y el conocimiento que puedan existir. Ok, so now let's have a conversation. Vamos a hablar, tener una conversación. Ahora sí, vamos a definir uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco conceptos de acuerdo al listado que tienes en el libro en la página 34. Se los estoy diciendo en español porque es muy importante que ustedes lo realicen así. Todo tiene un sentido de ser. Lo que viene en la clase de mañana tiene, está pegado a esto y lo vas a aplicar a un escenario real. Ok, so let's define, analyze the job. Ok, I think analyze the job is discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Uh, with who? Discuss and describe. Oh, so it's like go and check. Ok, what are the responsibilities of the position with the employee? Oh. Okay, write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Okay, so me importa mucho, en base a lo que viene, me importa mucho que ustedes entiendan cada uno de los conceptos y que queden claros, okay, para que menos los podamos aplicar en un ejemplo práctico. So let's define, make sure you understand, okay? okay. I'm not going to recreate the groups. Let's use the same groups. Let's go. Como... Again. Ok. So let's start working. Okay. Who is Who going? Oh, okay. I'm going to share the screen again. Again. Okay. Who's going to be first? Okay. The, yeah. Yes, we can read the and we identify the definition. Okay, I will start. Ah, okay, I got it. Please, solo opportunity in the scenario so simple when training is necessary to increase effectiveness. How do you pronounce the word? Effectiveness. Effectiveness, okay. Decider is there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. As employees, what areas they need help with? Okay. Okay, number two. Yeah. Find the best way to provide training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term training. E learning the side the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Okay. 
And so in my case, I didn't understand what we were going to do because I was taking a pill. Okay, we are going to make a presentation of what we understood. About the words, the before words. The previous I guess words. But the, all, the, all the concepts, yes. Mm, in this paragraph what? that we are going that that we are reading um, yes right teacher? This, is, this is the base yep okay so go ahead <laughs> so okay third third as is ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress their their progress look at the work area and check if there is still evidence or deficiency in this in skills of or knowledge okay okay johnny please read another one and next, uh, observe what the body as well and what need in problems, problems, improvement for improvement, shed for qualification, training, and courses and responsibilities. From courses, courses, uh -huh. courses, and responsibilities from previous position. Get more individual information from human resources. Discuss and describe the responsibilities. That I the the, yeah. mo the the employee model. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Employee model. Uh huh. Uh, the mm -hmm. uh? Yes. Okay. The um, okay. The stuff for this is knowledge, experience, skill, behavior, and habit. Only it is about the skill that you. Oh uh, yeah. Huh? Hi, Abby. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fernanda. Okay. Carolina, do you remember um <laughs> before uh, before the group? You you write the no Carol Carolina is not here Claudia yes Carolina is no. figuring habits ah yeah yes. yeah okay <laughs> yes Carolina said that the behavior build report is important because it's important the connection with the customer <laughs> or empathize with the customer but which which point <laughs> okay. Um okay, sorry, um, sorry. Um, okay. Uh about I identify, um, identify, identify training. training, yes. It's a identified uh, training opportunities for personal. Yes, we have the do the for that. Um because um I think there is um the it is important or include the, um, the behavior with the sale, sellers, seller with, with the customer, um, the skills about talking with, with them. Mm. Um. Or for example, when Train when there is a big problem. How how 
how they can solve the the problem how is uh which solution maybe what mm. do you think uh, the ability to work in 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 groups or team mm -hmm. Yeah. Ability, ability. Yeah, ability, ability. Uh huh. Ability to work in group or team. Ability or to no. work. Ah, to work. Mm -hmm. As uh, a group. Ability is a team. work as a mm -hmm. team. No. Yeah. No. Ability yeah. to work as a team. Yeah. Ability to ah. work mm -hmm. as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, knowledge of respect their their wallet. The rules? The rules. The rules. Mm -hmm. The um, normas de trabajo, normas de work, como serían las la normas de las leyes del trabajo, de, de, la, de las reglas que hay de, en el trabajo. Love of the job. No. Ah, lo, uh, que respete las leyes. Uh -huh. oh, Respect. Love uh -huh. of, of the job. Uh -huh. But the laws, laws. Law. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. And what is your opinion? Opinion, Elvin. Your microphone. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and what? What? Uh, topic? about um, um, identify the identify training opportunity evaluate performance of the training okay. such a skill mm -hmm. they are in analyze the job Evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. Ask staff members to use a checklist. And now all the day progress. and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicator of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify, identify, the identify. Process. It identifies the process and the process change in the in the description. Okay. In this 
case, um, discussion. So, discussion, Fatima. I always example the employees, the bank. Fatim. The question means uh, training to finish for For the station clients, for the station clients, do it. E. But as for the no. Grand fishing. Ah. Sí, que... ah. sí, por eso. But thanks. <laughs> we have to ignore like that, to that 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 emails for security. Yeah, I, I I answer those emails. <laughs> emails, but you know how email. with your personal information, your password. Oh your yeah, username. yes, all my information, my accounts, my and credit card three, numbers. And three days later, yeah. you you have a transaction in London, for example. Well, now for <laughs> transact. Okay. Guys, did I lose you? Like Jose that is not talking. No, 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 don't judge Jose. Jose is, <laughs> when Jose start to hey, so fire when Jose start to, to talk with them. When it's Jose like start a, to when talk without with when, when, Jose, when Jose speaks. He's on fire. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He inspired when us. We start when... this session. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank God I have two internet connections. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now we Perfectly. can hear you. Did I freeze? Did I get frozen before? No. Or? No. 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 Okay. You see perfectly. Yeah, it's just a no. cloud went down and with Tigo now. Mm. Just, just to clarify, um, the presentation is about the to. Definition. Why did you select that definition and and your own words? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 That's all. Okay. All, all, all the words or only twice once. All the words. Okay. All all the, all the definitions. The definitions. All the definitions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because. Yeah, we already have some information and we try to give our, our ideas, but also we were talking about fishing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we took a little bit time to talk about fishing and how to, what is it? What is the correct way? How to be aware of that kind of email. I think that teacher got frozen again. No, 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 no. I'm here. No, I'm just listening to you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Sure. It took to be to be honest. Uh, we are talking about uh, internet things because uh, we try to. Well, we we start to analyze those uh, concepts. But when we feel we feel that it's like ah, it's where it's boring, we start to talking about some different topics, like fishing. Yeah. Like yes. Yeah. And in the case like Fernando and Jose, yeah, a little bit 
And me, we like the computer things. Like uh, we were talking about that. It's like that, talk with that Jose. Uh, sometimes he is very um, he is on silence, but when he talk, he talk a lot. And he tried to and he tried to practice. And Jose, Jose is only a developer too. Only when he wants. Jose yes. is a developer too. If, if you know, you don't know, Jose uh, develop uh, applications too. <laughs> the, the Web application. application. He is a developer too. Oh really? Yes. He oh, was promoted. Too. Promoted. I I think. Yeah, Jose yeah, works is work. Jose works is works in another level. <laughs> the teacher. <laughs> Jose, who works in Not another level. <laughs> you work together? No, no. Uh, he 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 told me the weeks ago that he. He now developed a web applications in her in her job. No, he job. He job. His job. Oh, his job. Oh, his job. His job. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Jose, say something. <laughs> We're trying to improve you and and push you out to. I think that I think that he is afraid to the to the teacher. <laughs> Actually, he afraid oh. of afraid of. Teacher. Afraid of, afraid of. Afraid of the teacher, eh? Come on. Sorry, teacher. Don't be, don't be afraid. I mean, why do you get nervous when you have a teacher in front of you? Come on. Uh, I lost that the sensation in the university. So. <laughs> yeah, actually, everyone loses the um, that sensation when you go to the university. Everything changes. Yes. Most of the time, we are afraid to people correct us. Like you are wrong, you are doing. Oh, but you never have. You never have to say that to to a uh, student. You know, like oh, you're wrong. That's not. That's not right. It's totally incorrect. Okay. But correct. actually, I mm -hmm. think that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Continue. Sorry yeah, no, 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 it's okay. To interrupt Let... or for interrupt? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry for interrupting. Sorry, to inter sorry for interrupting. Okay, interrupting. okay. Interrupting. I always for, for I always forget when you use four and when you use two. Easy, easy, easy. Very good. I think that I think that your connection, your connection is not is not good because sometimes we or me, I cannot hear you very well. Me? I can hear you. Yeah. All okay. of you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can hear you too. Let's go back and then start the presentations. We only have 20, 25 minutes. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're all back, so let's do it. What are we going to do? I just need you uh, to go one by one on the groups. We have Alexander, Johnny, Miguel, and Jocelyn on the first group. So you're the lucky ones. Start with number one on the list. How many groups do we have to make this better? Let me see. We have exactly five groups. So group number one, Alexander, Johnny, Miguel, and Jocelyn. Explain to the class what is the option number one and why do you think that's the right option for the definition? 
Okay, perfect. You need me to share the book or no? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, please. Okay, so let's go with number one. Okay. This case lists all opportunities in areas of improvement. What training is necessary to increase effectiveness? Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of st staff and ask employees what areas they need to help with. Areas, areas. Areas, okay. They need help with. So what okay. is it? Okay, in this case, actually we have a little bit confused about it, but we decide training solution. Okay, yes. identify Identity. training so Identity. solution. Identity. Why? Well, as Alexandra mentioned, we identify the areas of opportunities that employee can have. Okay, support the idea. Can you support Jocelyn's idea? Another team member? Actually, in my case, I have had that because mm -hmm. you mentioned the word gap. In this case, the size skill and knowledge gaps as well can be the best option. What other option could it be? Decided skill and knowledge gap can be two. Hmm. You said if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff, ask employees what areas they need help with. Because you actually are doing a, a list of the opportunities or, or, and you are going to be beside the about it okay yeah so that will so, be a solution it's a need yeah it's not a solution it's a need of improvement i agree with you so this one should be decide the skills and skills and knowledge gaps okay i agree with you Okay, good job. How will this increase effectiveness? How listing all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary will increase effectiveness. Can somebody explain me that? I repeat, how? listing all the opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary will increase effectiveness. Someone else about the group. Uh-huh, someone else from the group. How will listing all the opportunities and Areas of improvement where training is necessary will increase the effectiveness. It's an easy question in reality, but think about it. Yeah. Okay. Think about the word effectiveness, okay? Jocelyn, Alexander, okay. Wells. Who else was in this group? Come on, guys. Okay. Well, in this case, it's so important. Oh, oh go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Who was speaking? <laughs> well, I speak me. What did yeah. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't understand well, but I think that at work every day, uh, we have to identify areas for improvement, improvement and training that, I don't know, that helps to improve 
this type of thing uh, with help improve work and result in the company. It's necessary to identify this type of opportunity. I don't know, for example, in, in, in my company, mm -hmm. I, I see that the person uh, don't know good or very well the system, the oper operative system. In, in my company, it's, it's necessary uh, this this kind a of a, tr a training. training is, a training is needed. A training yeah. is needed in that area. Yeah, okay. this is in my company. For example. How how will that increase effectiveness? Yeah, uh, I don't know the the TI TI department. The IT the IT department. Uh -huh. The IT, IT department uh, can can. Uh, show the system all the all the personnel in the company for example they can train so, uh -huh, all the personnel yeah. in the company about the system okay so yeah. that will increase effectiveness because reduce the t a t people time. want people won't lose time people won't lose time so they will be more effective yeah. in their job okay efficient and effective Think about those two terms, efficiency and effectiveness. Efficiency, effectiveness. Okay, great job. Okay, group number two. I don't know who's on number two. Let me check. Claudia, Maricela, Elvin, René, and Roberto. Again, Claudia, Elvin, René, and Roberto. Johnny, I didn't hear you before. Okay. Again, Claudia, mm -hmm. Elvin, René, and Roberto. Ready? Let's go. Number two. What is number two? Uh, I talked to you about this before. El. <laughs> Okay, mm, found the best um, way to provide training, more coaching. So, uh, really? Evaluate performance after training. Yeah. Because find the best way to provide training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings. E learning decide the opinion that the best fits the needs of your staff and company. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Identity between solution. This place is good knowledge and craft. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. e yeah. I identify training solution. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. This mm -hmm. is correct. Okay, now why? Because after the, when I finish the training, uh, the training sometimes have one on one in a, oh, it's a, just, just one moment. This I gonna organize my Your work. ideas, your ideas, yes. My ideas. <laughs> organize yeah. your ideas because this doesn't go at the end of the training. This is. Pre-training, pre-training. Pre -training. Uh, yes, it's pre-training. Elvin, can you help me, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but my opinion is so different because I think this type of skill and knowledge got, got because of uh, this, this side of option, the best fits in need of your staff of the company, the people, you you, you, uh, you decide what do you need the people, what do you need employees for the better performance. Okay. I, I think mm -hmm. that, I don't know, is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and identify employees, uh, the best jobs uh -huh, or, or opportunities Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, this I kill and knowledge got, got. Okay, before I split you, uh, I explained to you, I talked to you about 
approach, remember? Mm -hmm. What is the approach? Okay, right oh. now, right now we are applying something called a partic participative approach. Participative approach. Okay. Uh, eso es lo que estamos implementando ahorita, la metodología de participación en la clase. Okay. That's an approach, methodology. So identify training solutions. What is the best solution? What kind of training better fits your employees, your staff, and the company needs? And you have to consider, you have to consider the skills of your employees. Okay. I'm not going to train uh, security guards with an e-learning training on a computer. They don't know how to use the computer. So, and they don't use the computer in their job. So am I going to deliver an e-learning? Uh, no, maybe not. No. Okay. Give me your opinion no, now. I can... Give me uh... your opinion now. Sometimes it's important to identify the training solution. For example, when I when I show uh, the skills or probably behaviors, habits that they grow, we talk about this type in that is very important identify these behaviors. Uh -huh. Okay, so how, what kind of training? Let's talk about that, Claudia. You want to train your employees, your team. Yeah. Let's say you're, you're a team leader, Claudia, and you want to train your employees about COVID, about COVID um, habits in their house because they're working from home, let's say. And you want to train them on skill, on how to work, you know, common processes to avoid COVID. Will you do it on a one-on-one -on -one coaching? Yes. Short -term yeah, or learning. Oh, short-term and long-term trainings, like one week training, two weeks training to learn about COVID procedures. Will you do it in e-learning? Will you write a presentation so they can just take 15 minutes, 30 minutes and read it? on the computer, what's the best option? Mm. Huh? Okay. Is it? Mm. Got my point? <laughs> yes, uh, mm. that my opinion about this, sometimes I I do a call out, it's like, like a one-on-one mm -hmm. that the aging, uh, they needed to continue with the process for uh, COVID-19. Uh, for example, watch uh, the hands and, and add alcohol health sometimes three times per day after their food and no maintain the mask all the time. Keep their mask on. Keep their mask on their faces. Okay, I got your point. Yeah. So, yeah, someone new. Let's say they assign someone new, Claudia, to you. You need to let this person know, be aware of the procedures that they need to follow on the site on the call center. <clears throat> Would you do it on a one-on-one -on -one coaching? Uh -huh. Okay. No one -on -one. Uh, when I, uh, for example, the agent and a one on one say no, accept this rule. I needed to give a warning because this is the rule for the company, and mm -hmm. all the people they needed to continue with this right. rule. Got it, got it, got it. I understand your point totally. One on one coaching is for quality evaluations to disclose a procedure as well. Somebody else uh, wants to give the opinion? Sometimes motivate the agent and sometimes it's the motivate the, the agent. Sometimes it's to, to motivate the agent, yeah, to cheer up the agent, to congratulate an agent because of a good work. Yeah, I got your point, very good. What about e-learning? Um, in my business, for example, in my call center, 
we do a lot of e-learning. We have presentations and you just go clicking, you know, reading the presentation, watching videos to understand many concepts. Okay, good oh. job. Good job. So identify training solutions. What's the best training method? That's the whole point. What's the best training method? Okay, let's go with group number three, which is Fatima, Rina, and Sandra. Fatima, Rina, and Sandra. Okay, what is number three? So, so far we have identified training solutions. We have decided skills and knowledge gaps. So what is number three? Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Uh-huh. Sandra? Fatima, um, Sandra, Fatima, Sandra, and Rina, right? And William. And William. And William. Uh, we, uh, evaluate performance after training, teacher. Okay. Why? Okay. In this case, uh, is okay. Continue. Go ahead, Rina, Sandra. Okay. Uh, Sandra is in mute. Sandra is yes. in mute. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, an example it is eval evaluate or it uses the test lead test lead uh, evaluate their progress the progress the employees the uh, the organize okay if they were able to apply what they learned on the training they have to have a checklist, okay, to see if they did the process right or if they still have doubts, right? Okay, I got your point. So, ese es el punto. Oh, quiero que estemos claros en esto. Cada paso que vayamos viendo, por favor, okay? Esta última parte es bien importante porque es como cuando tú recibís un training, tenés que entender cómo se hizo todo, ok, lo más natural humanamente es que te vas a equivocar en la primera, so puedes ir chequeando paso a paso si vas haciendo las cosas como se te ha indicado, y ese es el punto si a un operario de una línea de producción le digo, mire eh, usted tiene que pegar primero el cuello y después cerrar acá, ¿verdad? con una costura, hacer doble remache con esa costura y resulta que primero hace el doble remache y después pega el cuello y le queda mal. O sea, ¿Me explico? Ese es el punto de esta parte. Evaluate performance after training. Are they doing things the way they were told? Are they doing things the way they were told? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We clear? Are we clear? I think we're clear, right? That's the, that's the easy one. That was the easy one, I will say. Okay, let me see group number four, Alan, Fernando, Isela, and Jose Antonio. I repeat, Alan, Fernando, Isela, and Jose Antonio. Okay, let's see. Group number four, what is solution number four, definition number four? Is it analyze the job or identify personal current skills and knowledge? is identify personal personal current skill and knowledge identify identify okay why read it uh, if you want yeah because uh, in a job uh, your boss or the 
the person of sharp in charge of uh, evaluating the, the personnel uh, have to has to has to watch how the personnel does the, the, the this this you say, their job so uh, he he can uh, watch what is the what what are the are the areas of opportunity to improvements to improve. so mm -hmm. they they know the, the all the the employees so for each employee they know they knows no no they he know knows, they know, uh, they know uh, what 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 employee needs what, what, what each employee needs what each what employee each needs, employee needs. Uh -huh. and in what areas or what 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 does the what are the areas of improvement for each employee uh, we in in base of in base of based on this based on this, based on this, this uh, he he can select uh, define group. He, he can he can define groups or uh, for different courses or trainings and that that is a, a way to to organize trainings and get a list of employees that needs to to improve her skills their skills to, to improve their skills to improve their skills Okay. Yes. Hay una palabra en español que se me ha ido y está en inglés, por supuesto, también, pero no me acuerdo. Um, ¿Cómo se llama cuando seccionas grupos en base a su et etnia, su raza? Categorizar. Ajá, uh -huh, you categorize. You categorize. You classify, yeah. Yeah, but there is another word I can't remember. Okay, so that's the point. What about Isela, Alan? Of course, when you are... Uh, oh, Isela. Well, um, you uh, have to identify uh, the skills and knowledge of the personnel because it's uh, necessary if you can improve, as Fernando says. Uh, for example, if, um, well, in my case, if I see uh, some of, the, of my um, co workers, uh, they need to, they have to, the, the skills for get another position. Uh, it's necessary to get, uh, you know, for example, give a, a training or something like that to improve in a new uh, area with a better, uh, how can I say, better very, wage, for example. Better wage, very good. Huh. Let me give you a case. Um, let's say Juanito worked at Molsa as an accountant. Okay, Juanito has seven years of experience as an accountant, but in our company, Juanito works as an auxiliary. Okay, so our accountant is fired. Our accountant is fired for stealing money from the company. And of course- Juanito. The first option is Juanito because he has experience as an, as an accountant, right? Yeah. But he will be promoted, for example. But on his records, you don't know, but on his records, he was fired from Molsa for doing the same, stealing money. So you didn't know that Juanito had the experience of stealing money. Okay, and that the PNC is looking for him. Why didn't you know? Because you didn't identify previous knowledge, his background. You don't know who you are dealing with. Listen, you don't know who you are dealing with until you get to know that person, that employee. 
their skills. Uh, really quick, uh, en 2009 tuve un mejor, uno de los mejores jefes que tuve en call centers. Uh, fue mi primer, el segundo empleo que tuve en call center en, en stream, se llamaba antes, ahora es Cogni, eh, Converges, creo que se llama ahora, o Concentrix. Este tipo lo nombraron, era su primer trabajo como TL, lo ascendieron. Y pues, ¿sabes por qué era el mejor eh, TL que tuve, el mejor eh, jefe? Porque le asignaron a nuestro equipo 20 nuevos empleados para dar soporte técnico a las computadoras de Dell en inglés. Y ¿sabes qué hizo? Primer día en el piso, vaya, vénganse para acá. Uno a uno, one on one sessions, como decía Claudia. Eh, ¿Qué querés hacer? ¿A dónde querés crecer? ¿Qué es lo que te gusta hacer? ¿En qué has trabajado? ¿De dónde venís? ¿Dónde vivís? ¿Cuánto querés ganar? Like that. So he was thinking, if you wanted to grow, where would you like to grow? What do you know? Do you know about accounting? Do you know about human resources? Do you know about sales? Okay, so let's help you. Yeah, de hecho, nos dio un training que se llama A+. No sé si han escuchado eso de A plus certifications. ¿Vos sí, verdad, Fernando? The A plus certification. Una certificación A más. Que es como para hardware, para software. Mm. Es de, como la top certification que puedes tener. Anualmente la renuevan, claro. Pero es carísima y pues él la consiguió hackeada por ahí, me acuerdo, en el 2009. Y nos dio él el training de A plus. Ah, qué bueno. Así. Qué, bueno, qué bueno por él por ayudarlo, pero eh, no es correcto. No, no es correcto, pero el knowledge lo adquirimos. Y sabes qué claro, pasó? A claro. los tres meses le quitaron el equipo. Solo nos dejaron a dos, tres compañeros con él, porque él nos pidió a nosotros. Eh, cuando le removieron el equipo, le asignaron 17 agentes más y nos quedamos nosotros tres dándole apoyo. Primera vez que fungía como supervisor yo. Fue interesantísimo. Entonces fue creciendo. Fue creciendo ese, ese grupito, es cada grupo que le asignaban iba creciendo por esa razón. So develop your personal. Why not? Why not? Okay, that's very important. Okay, and the last group, number five. What is it? <laughs> okay, last group before we leave. Um, Ada, Susana, Carla, Ivania, Juan Guzmán, and Carla, Janet. Ada, Carla, Juan, and Carla. Okay. Carla with a C. Analyze the job. Mm. Very important. Describe <laughs> the responsibility and position, position the employees. Eh? To describe the position of the employees. Okay, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down employee, employee in, write mm. down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the processes changed in the description. Hmm. So I think that there is there is like a interviewing people to see if they have experience in the specific area where stuff is needed. You have to do this or you have to do that. And also if you have a other knowledge to know if that person is more suitable for another area of work in this same company. Excellent, Juan, love it, great job. That's what I want to hear from all of you guys. Excellent, okay. Uh huh. One more opinion from the group. Ok, good. Cierro esta temática con hacerlos pensar en la pirámide de posiciones. El, um, uh, the organizational chart. How do you call that? The organizational chart. The, ¿Cómo se le llama ese cuadro? El, el cuadro organizacional, el, el organigrama de la empresa de posiciones. 2005, febrero. Quiero ver, 2005, no, 2000, entre el 2003 y el 2004, 2003 empezó a trabajar con unos amigos que tienen una importadora de antas. Mi primera función fue crear el manual de procedimientos eh, por cada puesto de trabajo. Eh, creo que les comenté un poco de eso. Eso es lo que dijo Juan, 
cabal. Go interview each employee. Mire, ¿usted qué hace? Ah, yo llevo, me decía el bodeguero, llevo cinco años trabajando en bodeguero. Ajá, ¿y qué hace? Uh, yo cuido el inventario. Ajá. ¿Y cómo lo hace? Aquí voy anotando un papel, qué cosa. Bueno, antes era un papel, pero ahorita yo, ahí lo voy descargando. Que de repente tenía el, el jefe de él. Era una empresa de familia. Miguel, ya, ya, me, ya descargaste el inventario, ya descargaste las llantas que salieron del inventario. Eh, no, 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 ahorita, ahorita lo hago. Al final del día se quedaba como una hora más actualizando lo que había salido. ¿Será que no estaba capto para ese puesto? Empezaba a ocupar en una máquina. Les estoy hablando del 2003. Entonces, ojo, ¿eh? Ahí es donde viene esa parte. Es importantísima. En muchas empresas no existe un manual de procedimientos por puesto de trabajo. Es un gran reto. So, ok, guys. Mañana vamos a aplicar esto en un caso práctico personal de ustedes. Ok. It's going to be really fun. Ok. Good. No, please. I don't like my job. <laughs> you have to. Pero ese es el punto. Tienen que empezar a expresar sus ideas. Lo que quieran decir, lo tienen que decir ya en inglés. That's the point, guys. Ok. Me quedo con Ada. Eh, let me check again. Yeah, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ok. Good. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Alcides Eguizabal Martínez. Come on, guys. Guys, can you hear me? Present. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Get better soon. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda yes. Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Good night. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good night. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Good night. Good night, Juan. Teacher and me, Ada, Susana, and Claudia. I said Claudia. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Oh, okay, thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Okay. Mi doctora favorita, ¿cómo estamos? Un poquito más tranquilo este mes. Ha sido ¿Sí? menos trabajo, sí. Hay menos. Qué bueno. Menos, menos trabajo por el momento. Teacher, yo tengo una duda con una tarea todavía. Uh -huh. Es de la unidad 2. Y bueno, yo no sabía que se podía estar corrigiendo las tareas. Hasta que, lo, bueno, y usted nos mandó la corrección eh, con el uso del Google, Google y el uh -huh. Google. Y aún corrigiéndolas, así como usted las puso. Y como las corregimos en la clase, no las acepta la plataforma. Y creo que a varios nos ha dado ese problema, porque sí. la vez pasada estuve hablando con Juan y también me dijo que tenía esas, como que no se las aceptaba. Y yo las estuve, 
eh, las, tra las, tradu las pasadas a español, les busqué otro sentido, pero en realidad no sé por qué no las, no las toma el sistema o, o, o ya no las acepta. Qué no extraño, cuenta, no recuerda qué número de ejercicio era. Creo que es la 211, por ahí. En donde están separaditas y hay que, hay que colocar las palabras en el orden correcto para formar oraciones o preguntas. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver juntitos esto. Uh -huh. ¿La dos sí, sí. que está? Ok. Sí, yo creo que esa es. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, sí, sí, es el de ordenar las palabras, de hecho. Ajá, pero... Eh, al ponerlas en orden como debe, o, o como yo creo que son, eh, no las aceptan en mi, en mi computadora o en el teléfono. Veamos, ju veamos juntos. Ya lo empecé a hacer yo, pero bueno. A ver, para uh -huh. empezar, ¿esto es una oración en afirmación, negativa o pregunta? Es una pregunta. To... Es una pregunta. Entonces empiezo uh -huh. con el auxiliar, ajá. Luego necesito un sujeto, ok. Uh -huh. to have... uh -huh. Yeah, a different uh, schedule. A different schedule. 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 Como... Schedule. <laughs> schedule. Pero al final es, es, al final es como que termine en yol, así. Cabal, exacto. Ay, no me deje enviar la respuesta. Vamos a ir haciendo uno por uno. No, a ver, no, no. ¿cuál o sea, es que yo las tengo, pero no uh -huh. sé por qué no me las acepta el, el, el sistema. Es que ah, no me compliqué. Como ahí dice el 92%, ahí lo voy a dejar. Dije, ya no voy a estar loco. <risa> pero a ver, entendamos entonces eh, esa parte, ¿no? Ahora, uh -huh. en esta clase veíamos que también se pueden hacer preguntas negativas. Uh -huh. Ok, esta es una pregunta uh -huh. negativa. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Be it to revise, wouldn't better the manual before good printing. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Be better, better, uh -huh. better to re re revise? Correcto. The, the manual, manual before printing. Printing. No fue la otra T ahí. Ok. Before printing. Uh -huh. Ok. Next. We be good it if would change the address. It's good. It's good or be, be good. Creo. Sí. It's good. Be, be, be good. Ok. It would be good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, If, mm, if, change. Ah, <laughs> it would be good if we. Is we change the dress code? Changed the dress code. Mm -hmm. Dress code. Hasta el mm -hmm. punto le voy a poner. No voy a hacer tal y como está ahí. A ver. A ver, edita la siguiente. To have would be it a good idea, a training would, manual for chefs. It would be. Mm -hmm. It would be a good. No. Yeah, a yeah. good idea. 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 Mm -hmm. To have a training manual uh, for chefs. For chefs, ok. Uh -huh. Agrego el punto también. Next. Okay, esta es negativa. I, uh, good it would be better. Es una pregunta negativa. Huh? Uh -huh. Wouldn't. A ver, repitamos. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. It be better. 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 Uh -huh. To let the manager decide or decide. Decide. Good. Decide. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide, decide, decide? Okay. 
an mm -hmm. automatic machine or a container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a dispenser, right? Mm -hmm. A dispenser, a substance such as mud or dust. Una sustancia Vinca. como. What is it? It's throw, throw, we throw. Mm, a substance. A such as es una sustancia como el musgo o la o el polvo dirt dirt okay yeah a point, a point someone to a specified position hmm? designated Designated. Designated. Okay. Especially in kitchens are installed adjacent to or inside a counter. Especialmente en las cocinas están instalados adyacente o dentro de un dispenser. Ajá. Dispenser. No. Hmm. Hmm. It's a sink. A sink, donde lavo los platos. Mm. <laughs> the sink. Uh -huh. And in a detailed and careful way. Dirt. Eh, de una manera detallada y con mucho, y mucho, y muy cuidadosamente. To, to. Thoroughly, 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 thoroughly. thoroughly. Todo Ajá, mire, me marcó mal alguna. Vamos a ver cuál marcó mal. Y seguro que es de la sí, de esta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bien, vamos a ver qué respuesta esperaba este asunto. Porque no está bien que lo haya marcado mal. Vamos uh -huh. a ver. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Wouldn't. Yo ya vi, creo, donde está el error. It'd be better. To revise a manual. Before. Printing. Before printing. Lo mismo tengo. ¿Qué es lo que ocurre acá? Uh -huh. Es probable que haya un espacio. O el, o el no. apóstrofe. Entonces lo que ocurre es que quien... Hizo esto, ocupó otro apóstrofe, pero no puede ser ese tampoco porque ese definitivamente no es. Yo sí tengo el apóstrofe correcto acá, pero sí, eso es. Tenemos la misma respuesta, vamos a ver la siguiente. Y sí, eh, prácticamente puede ser un error, pero me gusta ver que ya entendió esa, esa parte, ¿verdad? A veces cuando es una pregunta empezamos con would o wouldn't, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y aquí, it would be good if we changed the dress code. Mm -hmm. Ok. Good. Oh, mire, yo me equivoqué. If. If. Mm -hmm. We changed the dress code. Uh -huh. It will be a good idea. Ah, yo me equivoqué. Idea. No puse el espacio. To have a training manual for okay. chefs. Okay, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Y aquí se hay un espacio. ¿Se fija? Uh -huh. Hay un espacio ahí. A ver, es, y es, es un error. Ahí, eh, y yo creo que lo reporté en su momento. De nuevo, salió como error, pero sí está correcta la pregunta. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, fue un error, pero al final sí le aceptó la... Ah, no, no le aceptó la respuesta, ¿verdad? No, no la no, acepta. Sí, lo que voy a hacer es enviarle esas dos respuestas, esas respuestas para que usted pueda solo copiar y pegar para que mejore su nota, si lo desea hacer. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Que eso está repitiendo. Ya cuando uno... <risa> o sea, no, como no es lo, lo usual, vea. Ajá. Cuando usted hace un examen, no tiene... Tiene una oportunidad nada más. 
Ah, no, claro, que... claro, sí, pero Esta por esa misma... Me parece correcto estar repetir, repetir. Por ese mismo motivo, sí, está, está la opción de repetir varias veces para corregir ese tipo de inconvenientes que son de nuestra parte. Las disculpo, pero ahí es y, y para los otros módulos va a ser así tan complicado de, 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 de o sea, de, o sea, yo lo siento complicado porque son procesos más que todo, ¿verdad? O pasos o que se van, que se llevan a cabo dentro de una compañía que es así. Eh, a ver. Porque no es frecuente, ¿verdad? No es frecuente sí. que sigamos pasos dentro de, un, de, un, de una compañía. ¿verdad? Yo trabajo también con Anexa, que es una empresa que da servicios profesionales. Y como usted decía, que, que chivo fuera que, que de veras el, el, el área específica de contratar personal tuviera lineamientos y pasos para poder contratar a, por puesto. Uh -huh. Pero yo creo que dentro de nuestro medio eso no se cumple. Y tendría por ley que hacerse, pero eh. sí, no, no, no. Eh, de hecho, sí, los demás módulos ah, son de pensar, de analizar, de crear mucho y traen mucho vocabulario, mucha discusión sobre diferentes temas, como les decía, el desarrollo de producto, de una marca. Esto de, los, de las necesidades de entrenamiento creo que continúa en el intermedio 2. Y uh -huh. hay ciertos temas que en el 2014 cuando hicieron los libros este, uh, estaban como en auge, como el desarrollo interno del personal. Uh -huh. eh, eso, eso estaba mucho en auge, de hecho en Alemania y se empezaba a, a desarrollar acá en el país. Eh, pero sí, tiene mucho que ver en el desarrollo de ideas, ya de partir de intermedio, tiene que ser muy concreto, son muy... muy um, se tiene que dar, se tiene que dar, ya en intermedio empezar a luchar por crear sus propias ideas porque ya han avanzado el profesor prácticamente no hace nada más que crear los escenarios para que ustedes solo hablen, 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 hablen durante toda la clase y sean capaces de, de, de desarrollar proyectos, digamos así, mini proyectos en la clase, es súper entretenido, o sea, si uno se apasiona por diferentes temas, logra logra llegar a ese punto y es sí, a, mí me, a, mí me, a mí me ha pasado que a veces vengo corriendo entro medio, me chapuceo porque me baño siempre y todo el mundo me dice, pero ¿por qué te depelas tanto? ¿por qué estudias tanto? y digo yo, llega un momento en la vida que uno cree que, que perdió oportunidades y realmente cuando yo estudié inglés era de séptimo grado, le empezaban a dar a uno inglés y era machucado nada más yo estoy entrando en esa crisis existencial ¿eh? Ya voy a cumplir 40 años y créame, este que, híjole, debería aprender otra cosa y se me va a acabar el tiempo. No, y, y hay gente que como usted lo hace, dice que uno ya está loco, que uno ya no está para estudiar tanto, pero en realidad a mí me ha empilado. Yo trato de apoyar mucho a Fátima y le digo, no, no se vaya a salir, no se vaya a salir, porque si motivé a otras secretarias y nadie quiere estudiar ya. Entonces se acomoda la gente, no sé por qué. A uno es loco que quiere pasar leyendo. ¿verdad? No se Pero pone bueno. a pensar uno a veces que el trabajo no es eterno. Sí, yo así le digo, ¿qué tal si ya van, tengo 80 años que me gradué de inglés? Le digo, yo, me voy a un call center, tal vez ya puedo trabajar ahí. Claro que sí, sí, lo único que importa es que hable bien. Sí, así es. Ok, bueno, okay. ha sido un verdadero placer a, a tenerla Gracias. de nuevo, que descanse. Buenas noches. Gracias chicas. igual, Pero lo esperamos en el otro módulo, esperemos que realmente hemos tenido los últimos... Eh, teacher, han sido hombres, creo que son mejores para dar las clases, personalmente se lo digo, y siento que hemos aprendido bastante bueno, en lo personal ¿verdad? muchas gracias, gracias que estamos para todo servir. lo que nos ha dado gracias, <ríe> gracias. feliz noche, feliz noche. Igualmente. Cuídense.